It's fine. Everything's fine. It's always fine. Every <laughs> video we start out with, it's Everything's fine. fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized how loud my sweater is. It's beautiful. It's so, and we're both wearing red. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. I'm Eleanor Roosevelt. And I am Ninja Bean. We're still on squeaky chairs. Sorry. It's not one day. Today is not it. Today is not that day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move in the next few months again. I think this will be like the sixth time in six years this I seem to move theme. yearly. Yeah. Uh, I'll get new chairs then. But until then. Until uh, that day. We are here on our squeaky chairs to talk about your first bout. Yes. And what to expect. How to get through your very first bout. What to expect when you're expecting your first bout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so pretty much the only thing that we have to go on is our first experience with yes. our first bout. So yeah, we'll give you some insight, tips and tricks that we used on our first day. Mm -hmm. um, and your first, like, I mean, I still get nervous before games. Absolutely. Like, five years in, I still get nervous. I still have a routine that I have to go through um, before a game and uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, so we've been both been playing for five years now. Mm -hmm. This is our fifth year. Yeah. Uh, our first bout it was uh, scary. is extra scary for our team because we, everyone was new. Like there yes. was like three players that had previous experience. Yeah. No one knew anything about roller derby. We just ended up on a track and things happened. Yeah. And you kind of black out for two minutes and then you come to and you're like, wait, I was over there and now I'm over here. How did I get here? So that's something that's going to happen. Expect which is, that. Is yeah. that you don't know what's going to happen. Like you don't yeah. know what's happening half the time. Yeah. Um, you will learn. Trust me. You will learn. You will learn to read the game. You will learn to be, you know, where you're supposed to be and mm -hmm. all of those things. But your very first bout is going to be scary. Yeah. Uh, and like you're and gonna right. you're gonna learn a lot at practice and you're gonna learn mm -hmm. how to work with your team. But when it comes to playing another team. We try to practice to hit each other as hard as we can. Like we try to practice like we're playing, mm -hmm. but that's hard to do. Like there's always, I think, gonna be a little hesitation when yeah, you're when winning your friends. friends. So when you get into a bout situation against a team for the first time, they don't, they don't, they just don't You're care. not their friend. Yeah, you're not their friend, they don't care. But some few things that you can do to uh, prep yourself for your first game. Mm -hmm. um, we've said it before, we'll say it again. I'll say it every video if I have to. Drink all the water. And not even on the day of, the yeah. day before. Day before and the day before that. Like yes. just make sure your body is hydrated because your body is going to do something in the next 60 minutes or 75 minutes, depending on what your break is in the middle of your halves, um, that it's never really done before. Mm -hmm. um, it is like the most high intensity workout that you will get. <laughs> and it's gonna go by like that. Mm -hmm. And your body, if it's not hydrated, it's gonna fail you. Yeah, you're gonna get muscle cramping. Yeah, um, and like when you play derby the first time, even now, the adrenaline is gonna kick in and you're mm -hmm. gonna be like dry mouthed. You're gonna be like, like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. a really weird sensation the first time yeah. to be like sitting on the bench and like, <sighs> and like I, I, I shake like still yeah. after a jam, I will like, I have to calm myself down because I get yeah. the shakes on yeah. the bench. I get like so excited. And it's not because I'm scared, it's because I'm like excited. Like, yeah. Ah. That adrenaline, that those endorphins are. Going. So you you need the water in your body mm -hmm. because it's yeah it's overworking itself. Yeah, and you're gonna sweat, and you're, especially if it's in the summertime. We've played in some venues where it's not air conditioned. Oh, Our venue is so hot. Our venue <laughs> it's is so hot. Great in the winter because it's heated. In the summer, it's awful. It's, it's awful. It is a easy bake oven. Yeah, we're making something new with Easy Bake. Um. So yeah, drink all the water and. Eat some good food. Yeah, really think about your diet those yeah. days. Like if you're gonna eat a bunch of pizza the night before, you're gonna be sluggish the next day. Yeah. A ninja pizza? Pizza that vanished quickly without trace. Ah. There are some girls that on our team that just get so nervous that they don't eat. Yeah. And then what happens then? Here come the muscle cramps, here comes the faintness, here comes, you know, your body again failing you because mm -hmm. it's not fueled properly. Yes. Um, so eat properly, you know, have eggs and, you know, some toast and some bacon and have a little bit of extra carbs because you need that sugar energy. You need that carbohydrate energy um, before you play. Yeah, I don't think- Maybe not a, right before you play. Yeah, maybe. I, I usually eat a couple hours before I have yeah. to, to skate. <laughs> yeah. We have another girl who played, uh, who was a sub for us last year on the team and 
she is like known for her snack bag. Oh yeah. And she, she comes in, she like slams it down on the table or in the middle of the room, and there's pepperettes. There's always pepperettes. There's always cheese. There's always mm -hmm. mini oranges. What else does she always have in there? Meat and cheese. Meat and cheese for sure. <laughs> and mini oranges. She always has the mini oranges. And there's like fruit and times. yeah. Um, but it, that is a good thing to have mm -hmm. on your on your person, like protein and cheese, like all of those things that sort of keep your those your blood sugar semi-stable um, is a good thing to have. Yeah. So what is, Ninja, what is your um, like pre-game ritual? Uh, I get up. Everybody I, has those. I get up at a pretty reasonable time and then I have a really good breakfast and then I typically we go over and set up, like mm -hmm. we set up early, but I take snacks and I take water mm -hmm. and I try not to think too hard about the game because yeah. if I do that, you don't want to set yourself up. Yeah. Um, some people do. I don't think about it until I have to. Yeah. It's kind of my big thing. Um, that's about it. I don't have any really weird rituals. Some people I think are a little bit more extreme. Yeah. Um, I just have one where like once I'm dressed and ready to go, I have to sit by myself for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I either throw some headphones in or I just sit. And I'll never forget my very first game. And that's where it started was mm -hmm. my very first bout. I was so nervous and I was like, I'm not a nervous person. I don't have that kind of anxious personality. And mm -hmm. it was so weird to me to be anxious um, in and of myself. And I just remember sitting there and I was kind of like, <sighs> like just, and I didn't want to talk to anybody and everybody who came up to me, I was like, please go away. Like I just, I just need to be alone. And my daughter, God love her, came up and she was like, 10 or 11 at the time and she's like hey mom what can I do to help and I'm like leave me alone you can leave me alone and, <laughs> and I just and I just need that like even if it's like two or three minutes to mm -hmm. just center myself and then I was fine and then and then you kind of get the jitters before the game actually starts and mm -hmm. you're like you know they're doing instructions or whatever or it's like just before the first jam and then once I've done the first jam like once I'm out on the track for the very first time I'm fine yeah, like it, no, nothing. It does help. Like the first jam is always the worst jam. It is. Um, I for a while last year was always jamming first, just to be like, okay, once you I because once I know, I know, I know, like okay, this team hits this hard. Like you kind of yeah. even like I know it's only one line. You typically get a pretty good vibe, vibe. Mm -hmm. that first jam of how things are gonna go. Yeah, and I find that in between jams take a moment to kind of like refocus yourself. Yeah. yeah. Cause it, it's very easy to get like drawn into the game and watching the game instead of thinking about what you need to be doing. Yes. Yeah, that's actually something um, very interesting that I've noticed. You can kind of tell the players that have been playing for a while and that have want to play their best every time mm -hmm. are the ones that sit down on the bench and they sit and then they talk to their next line. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, what was good? What was bad? How can we change this? Jammer, what do you need on the next on the next time you go up? Who's our jammer? What you know? What's the next line they're sending mm -hmm. out looking like? Um, and kind of processing that way as opposed to focusing on the game. It's not your job to watch the scoreboard. It's not your job to watch the game. That is your coach's job. So focus on yourself and what you can do better, but also focus on the rest of your line yes. so that you know who you're looking for. You know who you're listening to um, and make sure that, especially if it's your first game, find a buddy mm -hmm. when you're on the track who knows what they're doing and stay with them. Yes, always stay next yeah. to another player that is yours. Yeah, you don't want to be on your own because you, you have to be like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So always find a buddy. Yeah. And if you'll find buddies, you know what you have? A wall. A wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, and again, you're gonna you're gonna not remember what happened. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get through a jam and literally have no idea how you got from point A to point B. Like I I my very first jam, I actually there's no way my brain can comprehend what happened. Yes, at all. And it was a freshy game. Like it was all girls that had been playing for under two years and didn't have very much play time. Um, I just remember being like, what the heck just happened? Yeah. How did I get there? Uh, another thing that I do is I try really hard, and this is just like after experience, because your first game, you're like, are we winning? Are we winning? Are we winning? Yeah. Don't think about if you're yeah. winning. Uh, winning is not really what you should be focusing on as much as like you want to win. You just mm -hmm. have to be, and it kind of goes back to focusing on each jam individually yes. and doing better than the last one. Yeah. Um, we actually have a video uh, that 
talks about what to do if you have a bad bout and we kind of talk about some things you can do on the bench mm -hmm. to you know um not get hooked not get caught up in the yeah. drama of it. Yeah, not get caught up on your last jam and kind of move on to the next one mm -hmm. and help your, your game. Because those are things like as a new player that your brain is going to immediately want to do. Yes. It's just like, it's because that's how we're wired. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but the score is like one of the big things that our team did really well, especially last year, was mm -hmm. we always had a rough first half. Yeah. And then we would be like, forget about the score. Take, take a breath. breath. Yeah. And let's do this. And then we we won a lot of games like that. I think we won all of them. We like won that. all of the games except for the last the very last game, which didn't count towards our division that we were in. Mm -hmm. It was just an extra game that we had planned with a team that was like four hours away, oh, I five I hours away. Um but I'm I'm almost certain every game we played last year. Pretty we much. Won. Which was crazy. Like I mean that doesn't happen ever. Like yeah. it'll never happen again, I'm sure. Uh, but um you know, as a as a fresh player, as a new player, worry about staying up. Stay up on your feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep standing. Because the moment you go down, you're a liability. Mm -hmm. You're a liability to your team and to the other team. You could take somebody out, somebody could trip, you know, whatever. Yeah, fall small. Fall small and uh, get up as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. um, also, don't be afraid to ask for help. Yes. Ask for help. If something happened in a jam, especially like if you, your your other players are gonna know that you're new. Mm -hmm. If something happens, you're like, what? What, how what did, penalty, how, what yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah. You have to ask, because yeah. it's. Also, don't ask the refs. Yeah, don't talk so, to the refs. So, if you get a penalty, take it. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you don't agree with it. I don't care if you, you know, think that's the stupidest thing ever. You don't say anything. You go, I'm off, go, to, go mm -hmm. and serve your penalty then question it later. But in the game, if you question a ref, you will get an insubordination. Yeah, they'll and give you two and you don't want and that. And then you don't want that. You wanna yeah. sit for a minute. That's just letting your team down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, if you get a penalty, you get off that track as fast as you can. Yeah. And you sit down nicely and you get back on that track as fast as you can. Yeah. That's important. Like try not to think too much about penalties. Like penalties are not the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, some people in their first game, they, they get a lot of them. We yeah. had a couple freshies that were Some people like, are in first year. Uh, some of our girls that are still here five years later are still getting lots of penalties. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we have a girl who got ejected, what? one or two jams towards the end. Like, yeah. It was like, and the poor girl was so upset and we're like, you just played almost an entire game yes, and it was your first game and it sucks, but it's okay. Cause you know, a lot of those, those <laughs> they're usually cuts. <laughs> they're usually, usually cuts. Yeah, or, or, or no arms. Yeah, or, and no pack. And no pack. Cause yeah. that one's a little bit more complicated. It's like, I, oh. Why? 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 Why me? Because I'm closest to the ref. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so those are like, they're going to happen. It's fine. Yeah. Do not get too worried about it. You will fix it later. Yeah. yeah. And then once you learn, once you play more, you learn more. Mm -hmm. And to so just always know that the game is changing and that you're going to learn as you, as you go. Yeah. And your teammates are not going to hold it against you if you get mm -hmm. seven penalties. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't worry about a penalty. It is what it is. Yeah. So I hope this has helped. Yes. There's probably more we could think of, but we don't have all day. Yeah. But um, if you have any other questions um, about your first bout or about anything to yeah. do with a game or not a game or just derby in general, like and subscribe, comment below. We try our darndest to answer or like every comment that mm -hmm. happens on this channel. Um, we appreciate you guys and we, um, we're excited to be Moving on up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we do read your feedback because we, we have planned videos around comments we've gotten about yes. people that have asked spe specific. specific things. I almost said Pacific. That's a notion. Specific things. Yes. Uh, so yes, leave comments, please. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're really excited. We reached this week 350. Oh yeah, over 350 now. So, so this is great. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.